Is the supply chain getting better? Because Funko is releasing a lot right now. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas of gas. We're glad you're there, Sai. You get the right time. We got it on time line. Funko's hot toys and chimes don't mind. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe. Because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it all, we are together. Yes. All year has been super, super, super f I'm still waiting on pre-orders I placed in January. And that's never happened with Funko and me before. Ever. All year has been an absolute f***ing disaster. But now it seems like the floodgates are open because we're seeing stuff pop up everywhere. Hopsies, Valentine's Day pack of packas are now hitting stores. Pookie the Lion, Snookums the Raccoon, did you see that? No, but I, I just did when you showed me. Also, Black Panther is arriving at stores. Yeah, but that should have been here a long time ago. Did you see in the video the other day that people were letting you know that Stitch talked in the Lilo and Stitch film? Yeah, I did. He talked, so. There's two types of people that comment on our videos. There's people who are very nice and thank us for putting out content daily despite... Dis There's three types of people that comment on our videos. Are there you about to say four? No. <laughs> That number Stop. keeps rising. I know. There's three types of people that comment on our videos. Bulls who like to tell us how bad we suck. Okay. People who thank us for taking our precious time out of our day to bring them joy in the form of videos. And people who like to prove that they know everything. And there were probably about 12 of those on last night's video. Sorry that I didn't realize that an alien animal could talk. I hated that movie. I couldn't get through it. Ohana means family, Heather. Well, guess what? Family understands that we're human and we make mistakes. You guys are savage. So with all these items hitting stores, does that mean that the supply chain is better? Or does it mean that Funko has decided to promote stuff that they actually have in hand? Or does it mean they finally unloaded some of those big ships? Holy ship! They're unloading the ship. No, it's opposite. Oh, yeah. You said it wrong. Ah, oh, yeah. Maybe they've learned how to market based off of what they have coming in and what's going to be available very soon. But does that mean that we're going to see a lag now that things are coming out and then they've released a couple new things like the Popsies? Because it seems like everything is tied up between manufacturing and shipping. It's really hard to say. I don't know. But what I do want to say is this is a good sign because if we're actually getting things finally, hopefully we can squash a lot of these delays because Black Panther Blacklight is something we've been all waiting for for a very long time to hit stores. And on social media today, Funko News Outlets posted photos of the Black Panther in store. What if that big warehouse they bought in Arizona is now a manufacturing plant, mm. so now they don't have to wait for to come overseas and sit on those big ships? Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. Probably not. Finally, we'll get stuff at Funko.com that doesn't suck complete no, 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 no. Just because things are moving doesn't mean that they're going to automatically start making better things. Can we at least hope that that's the case? Mm. It's going to be like constipation. What? You can't go for a while. You're sort of backed up, right? Things are real backed up. You're not seeing any movement. You start to get movement, but it's just some our shelves have been much more stocked in recent weeks than they have been all year long. And not only that, but Wes from Poppin' Off Toys mentioned that Funko has just been sending him so much lately. But again, that could just mean that there were a ton of these pops sitting on one of those big old ships. And they're finally unloading the things that we should have gotten like five months ago. Remember that Alice in Wonderland pop I got the other day? I ordered that in January and I just got it like two weeks ago. Holy ship! No, it's the other one. Speaking of the delays and everything, we've been receiving stuff left and right that we've ordered quite some time ago. As an example, we ordered the Spider-Man, Dr. Octopus, and Black Cat a while ago. Finally, now all we need is to get that Hobgoblin off that shit. Ship. <sighs> The Hobgoblin is the new Black Light Black Panther. We also received this Boba Fett. Who looks like a ball sack. Do we have to do this? Yes. He was a New York Comic Con exclusive. He was dropped over at Walmart 
And I also received this Trax that was from Toy Tokyo. And if you guys didn't notice, he has that cool little Festival of Fun sticker. Oh, that's neat. Right? I just count myself as lucky by having that sticker because I'm a sticker hoe. Not only that, but we received our Doctor Strange zombie from Target. Things must be getting better, Heather, look. They unloaded that sh ship. No, it's a bunch of sh The reason why we wanted to make this video is because we noticed that Popsies popped up the other day I see what you did. I know you're so funny. And we didn't know a thing about them until Funko released a bunch of glams. And it was just a couple days later that they showed up stocked in stores. So were these sort of a surprise thing? Was this something that Funko completely forgot about and then just put up? I don't understand. I don't know, but anytime we see anything coming from Funko anymore, usually means we won't get it for a couple of months. Yeah, I was honestly not expecting to see these on shelves until like springtime. You either get photos from Funko and expect something way later or you see leaks and something shows up like days later. Shouldn't Funko be able to determine who gets what and when? No, apparently not. <laughs> it's complete Wild West ship. Hopefully 2022 brings us something really awesome, like awesome exclusives on Funko.com. Things actually come on time. Yeah, instead of too early, like a lot of things that I know about. Okay. Is that too far? <laughs> I don't know, it might be. <laughs> Hopefully, we get a bunch more Popsies announced. Oh, fuck! You know, while we're on the topic of the leak stuff, I, I know we talked about this a little bit the other day, but the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cans were leaked, the sodas. Mm -hmm. Does that mean they're right around the corner and we're getting them very soon? I don't know, because remember when the Eddie Brock Blacklight was leaked? Right? It was like months before. It remember when I said that that was a bunch of bullshit? was a custom. Yeah, and I haven't let you forget that. Remember when it turned out it was real? And it also came with a t-shirt? Yes, I do remember. And remember when I had Eddie Brock in the t-shirt in a box? The one that I said that wasn't actually going to be coming out and that it was a custom and it wasn't real? Remember the video where I actually had it and I held it up and I showed you that and I said all this? Yes. So pack a pack of Valentine's Day Fungo Pops, poopsies, and the Popsies. black and the black light black panther funko pop our dreams have come true we're getting everything we wanted for 2021 you excited about the poopsies popsies yes i'm about? very excited are you for yeah. real really for yeah real? no I'm, this isn't for the video you're really excited about it yes i'm very excited about them why i just like them i really feel like that's a lot you're lying i'm not lying i really like them you buying any yeah how many are you getting however many i want weird so hopefully the delays will be over for 2022. Don't get your hopes up. That's not 100%, but it does look like things are getting better. We're getting popsies, so you can be thankful for that. Okay, but don't forget, things could be getting better or maybe they unloaded a ship. Ah, you made me do it. Before we close the video out, we want to unbox this guy with his luminous reflective effect, huh? Cool, let's just open it. What are you doing? You're taking too long. I'm not taking too long. Just open it. So this is the Infinity Ultron. He's from the What If series from Disney Plus. And as you can see underneath, he's the Vision, but it's because Ultron used Vision's body. See, the Avengers lose in Age of Ultron in the What If series. Ultron wins and becomes the most powerful thing ever. So he's Ultron and Vision. He's Ultron, because in Age of Ultron, he was stealing the Vision body before it was Vision, and he was going to put himself in that body and be Ultron. But the Avengers took the Vision body and put Jarvis in there, and now he is the Vision. Okay. What the f I have no idea what you're talking about. See a sword thing? I don't think that's a sword. I think that's a plug. Okay, don't make this dirty. We're I'm fun. not. That's what it looks it's like. It's not a butt. It does look. It does look like a plug. Bend over and I'll show you. That's from Christmas Vacation. So he has the reflective luminous glow, which makes his eyes light up. You can see the infinity stones are lighting up also. Not a whole lot lighting up on this guy, but he still looks cool. Look at those eyes. Aren't they cool? Wait, why does he have the infinity stones? You didn't watch it with me. Ultron gets all the, the stones. Spoiler alert. He gets all the stones by killing Thanos. That's an even better spoiler. So this guy is available right now on Shop Disney, so you can go buy him if you want him. I think he was $24.99, and he's really cool. I like this one. He's neat. 
Guys, what do you think about Infinity Ultron? And how about those supply chain issues? Are things getting better? Did they unload a ship? Or is Funko just being more prepared with how they market things now? Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. And as we mentioned before, Poppin' Off Toys is getting more and more stuff in stock. So head over to poppinofftoys.com right now and check out and see what they've got. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Jacques Morgan, Awesome Toy Box with T-Roy, Erica Woods, Kevin LaFranc, Giuseppe Grioli, ARCFTB, Leandro Cedillo, Bob B. Cy Cardillo, Carlos Q, and Marco Lopez Jr. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons from Patreon. All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.